we're fucking drunk and exhausted. <laughs> I, I said you wanted to crack it on air. Don't you have something to play before? I'll crack it after. Uh, <laughs> you want me to play that first? All right. <laughs> this is high production value. That's, uh, 20 seconds of gold, baby. Welcome to you. the Gentleman's Den. You've paid for the full seat, but you'll only need the edge. <laughs> Check the mic and make sure it sounds right, boys. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Welcome oh, back to the Gentleman's Den. Welcome, Frankie, back. Jeff. Frankie and Sean once again Hi, back to titillate your ear canals with good old comedy gold. Raise up a glass. <laughs> take your pants off. Frankie's back in the house. <sighs> Welcome Hi, back, friends. buddy. This Why, podcast is sponsored by Miller Lite. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> <laughs> Everyone's indulging. Oh, feels good to be back. I missed you guys. I missed you I too. I, I haven't been up and in in the loop. Don't know what's going on. What's new? Well, I don't, don't want to get really too things. into it, but I will we'll just touch say my all. father hasn't been doing very well. I don't know if you guys touched on anything, but father hasn't been doing well, so I've been spending more time with him and just and been able to get free, but. It is Jeff's birthday. Happy birthday, you son of a bitch. Yeah. yeah. And the day what, before what you, Valentine's like 29 Day. 29 years young now? I had my birthday bitch, Tiara. Oh, fancy. You my fancy, chalice. Huh? Nice pink chalice walking <laughs> around the gun show. <laughs> oh, boy. We so got, I had to make an appearance for your birthday. We got a nice taste of Republican Thanks, America bro. today. I had a great birthday. I woke up, Sean took me to breakfast, and then he had me drive him to a gun show. (laughs) Well, side note, the guys that we went with were supposed to drive, and his window broke in his truck. Uh, It was too fucking cold today to be driving without a window. No, the the, uh, track broke, and he he didn't have it finished. So Jeff said he would drive. I didn't mind driving. Negative like twenty degrees today with the wind chill is insane. It wasn't Tomorrow's bad. It was supposed to be even worse. Tomorrow's yeah, supposed was... to be the day where the shit's hitting the fan. Yeah, it's that's be, like, why negative I did the fucking... shoveling and shit today got it out of the way. Smart did you guys man. get snow today? We got a couple inches only. Yeah. Yeah, but that bit. shit, you could blow that with a snow or a fucking leaf blower and get that shit off your fucking driveway. <laughs> Yeah, see, it just sucks to live in a cul-de-sac. We get fucking plowed in when he hits that corner yeah. every time. Yeah, you guys are, yeah. like, right at the wrong, right at the, you, you, in the cul-de-sac, you want to be at the fucking corners. Yeah, we're in that fucking edge where yeah, it's, yeah. everything gets fucking piled up. And then I got, like, a three-foot slush mound at the end. That shit's so heavy. It's, like, 100 pounds. Hey. Actually, I broke shovels trying to fucking lift that shit. Hey, man, that's why Talking you lost about- <laughs> That's why you lost the ten pounds. Problems. That's why you <laughs> lost the ten pounds. It was out there shoveling that slush. It wasn't because you quit drinking soda. Probably, sodas. dude. My cul de sac was plowed in again this weekend. Do you happen to have the pictures, Jeff, of when you were over there? And we oh, I do. You do? The uh, <laughs> yeah, this blizzard of when was Put it? Like Two thousand seven or some shit. Yeah, I was over like ten if years. If I remember, now. I'll make a mental note. No, it was like 2011. It sent me the pictures, too. I want to see them. Absolutely insane. The snow was like seven feet tall. Couldn't even see the trucks. Yeah, dude. It was so bad. Took us like eight hours to fucking shovel out. Yeah, that was bullshit. I thought it was a good idea. I was like... Oh, that's sweet, because they already called off work. So I was like, all right, me and Frankie just stayed up all night playing COD fucking zombies. (laughs) Zombies. So we woke up. I had to help Frankie shovel his driveway to get out. Then I had to drive home and shovel my fucking driveway. (laughs) 
Well, and you, I'm sure it was probably like five, six feet out by you. Like, what do you do at that point? You can't just drive into it. Well, no. In, in Twin Lakes, they didn't even plow out here that day till uh, like fucking at least noon. Like, they didn't even get to my yeah. street till at least noon. It was a bad day. It was it was real world. Not not one of the days you want to remember of like you just wish you could but you can't like wait at those things too you wish you could just leave it for you know a day or two or something let it blow by or you can't you have to hit it that day or else it starts to freeze and then it gets heavy as fuck and then you're screwed but it'd be fucking see i got snowed in i went smart on that day and i parked the cars back to back instead of side to side like normally so it caused like a fucking drift in between the cars from which way the wind was blowing. So I could dig. Yeah, I got. I had at least a path where I could get in there and start digging out. That was heart yeah, attack see? shit, man. Yeah. That was heart attack snow. That was Cor- the quarter called the sack. We get the drift and we it, stop bro. it right, right here. I'm over this polar vortex 2.0. Yeah, dude, for real. It's done. It's been like two weeks straight of fucking negative. Temperatures. Hey, as it. long as it's not like what was that two years ago, or or was that last year? It was negative thirty. Oh, negative. that was when BJ was shooting his movie. Yeah. <laughs> oh shit, dude, that I was. Can't wait to see that. I'm pretty sure it was, that was two years ago. Two years ago, that dude, it was so cold that it snapped power lines. By us, we didn't have power for, and my mom was going through chemo at the time. That's when she was going through the cancer thing. I I got home. I got to work, and there's like, yeah, we don't have power. Just go back home. <laughs> I Dude, got it's <laughs> ridiculous. I got home, and I was basically anywhere I thought a draft would come through. I was blocky with blankets yeah, because dude, we didn't have power. It's that bad. Make sure uh, people in the uh, polar vortex, you leave some water running. You know, with those pipes freezing. Well, that was the thing that was scary too, is because we didn't have power for like two hours. So instantly, yeah. as soon as the power came back on, everything got turned on. All the water was on. Everything was on, turned on. I got charged six dollars and fifty cents today for a gas pump that didn't pump any fucking gas, but the meter went up six fifty. What? Yep. It was frozen. You know, it didn't pump any de- gas. You could hear it and tell when it is. Like I went like two, three dollars, and like. I'm like, what the fuck? Nothing's coming out. And I'm, like, watching it go up. And then I stopped. And then, like, I tried, like, hitting it again. And <clears throat> the numbers weren't going up. Did even you the, test the it? Did you, squirt some on the, did you squirt some on the ground? No. I it, I did. And when it got to, like, $5, <clears throat> it started to, uh, like, catch and start coming out and shit. But it, it was, like, <clears throat> like, you know, in spurts. And I was, yeah. like, dude, fuck this. And I'm not even going to pump it. I didn't. I went to a different gas station. I was, like, was I'm it? not. Because, like. My even my meter in my car when I left, I had like three quarters of tank, and it said I had like ninety miles to empty. And then I drove to Gray's Lake, Twin Lakes, and back, and it said I was like eighty miles to empty, and I had a quarter tank. I'm like, there's this isn't right. There's something that's not right. I didn't go. I didn't drive only ten miles, <laughs> and I went through a half a tank of gas. Yeah. So. Yeah, I ended up filling up and shit just to be sure. I didn't want no frozen lines or anything. No bullshit. Well, yeah. I haven't drove my car in forever. Yeah, I was going to say, your car doesn't move that much. You got to be out there starting it every day. I, well, I, don't, like, I like to do bulk shopping. Like, when I go shopping and shit, like, I'll get, like, the 10 bags of fucking noodles and, like, fucking 10 Pregos, you know, pasta sauce and shit. So, in that way, I don't have to. You got to have that fucking... Out. I do yeah, I'm, the Italian hand. I have the Sicilian that's, fist. That's what I do, man. Fucking noodles and pasta <clears throat> all the time. Uh, I used to have probably twice a week on spaghetti, depending on like even like the Italian sausage and shit. I get like good. four packs. Plus, you can do. There's so many options, and you do have a freezer, so I mean, you can freeze the stuff you're not you can do these noodles with this sauce you know the same noodles with a different sauce i'm pretty consistent with the same kind oh you do yeah i love getting all different i get the bow tie noodles the fucking squiggly noodles i love the noodles noodles. i used to get thin but now i'm becoming more of a thick noodle guy (laughs) yeah we could tell 
<laughs> Are you going to the fettuccine noodles yet or no? No, no. <laughs> Not yet. Not a fan of like the mastacholis and shit like that. So just I don't know. spaghetti. So yeah, spaghetti. I, I, like my, I like my long noodles. Jeff, tell us about the uh, your night last night. <laughs> oh Jesus! <laughs> my birthday dinner. Your birthday dinner. That wasn't. <sighs> it was a great gesture. So I love Lou Malnati's pizza. So my plan today was to drive down um, and get Lou Malnati's and then bring it home and. And eat it for dinner. Enjoy well, your birthday. Yeah, Friday after work. Uh, my mom and my lady are like, let's go out to dinner for your birthday. It's supposed to be shitty Saturday. Let's just go out to dinner. So I'm thinking, all right, probably chilies. Well, we drive past the chilies. So, <laughs> all right. I know what, I know what these, these two are up to. We're going to Lou Malnati, so I start getting excited. All right, let's do this. <laughs> It's probably 45, 50 minute drive. And uh, my mom's like, it's hot in here. Turn down the heat. Now, first of all, my mother has never uttered those words in her life. She is always <laughs> fucking cold. So there's the first red flag. We got a problem here. <laughs> and she's in the backseat? Yes. Yes. Okay. So this is like just a loose bolt on a space shuttle. You know, just that little problem could explode and it could, it could have a big problem on the fucking hands. So anyway, she's like, how far are we? Five minutes. Five minutes away from pure bliss. I'm going to come in my pants. <laughs> All of a sudden, my mom's like, I'm going to throw up. I'm going to throw up. She's like, oh, what's in this bag? So there's a bag on the... Just, yeah, fine. Just throw up in the bag. I'm like, are you serious right now? What the fuck is going on here? <laughs> well, there's some shit in the bag. I don't really care about the stuff that's in the bag. It's garbage. But she doesn't throw up in the bag. She throws up on the side of the bag. Oh. <laughs> Gets it on her pants, on the floor, on the seat. Uh, so we pull over. She gets out. She's throwing up. The kids are in the back. What's happening? <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, I don't even know. And at this point, I'm like, all right, fine. She's pro- she got car sick. She gets car sick a lot. Mm-hmm. Got car That's sick. Soft. She threw up. Problem solved, right? Puked. Like when you're drinking. I just need to yeah. throw up. I'm fine. No, she wasn't fine. <laughs> Finally make it to Lou Malnati's. My mom's like, I'll just stay in the car for a little bit. I need to get some fresh air. I'm like, Mom, you're not sitting in the fucking car. It's freezing outside. She's like, just go. So we go inside. They're like, it's going to be a 20-minute wait. Okay, you can't wait inside because of COVID. I can eat inside without a mask, but I can't stand in there with a mask on. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So they send me out to the fucking car, and my mom's like, how long, 20 minutes? Oh, my God, I don't know. I don't know. Could we just order it and leave? I'm like, you want to sit in a parking lot for an hour? <laughs> right. I said, let's take. just drive to another place, like kind of on the way home, 45 minutes away, and then it'd be 45 minutes home. So we were going to do that. She wasn't feeling it, so... Moral, make a long story short, I we drove all the way out to Lou Malnati's. My mom threw up, and we drove all the way home, and I got no Lou Malnati's. <laughs> but you had spaghetti noodles that you hate. Yes, I don't like sp- spaghetti noodles. are my least favorite noodles. <laughs> I had spaghetti noodles with Alfredo sauce and garlic bread. Hey. You got to work with what you got, right? Right, garlic bread. I mean, that's a plus. There you go. You the birthday the... weekend didn't start out too strong. <laughs> so you guys, you guys came through in the clutch for me today. I appreciate it. Today, I called Jeff. I texted Jeff yesterday. I'm like, "Hey, man, let's go to uh, breakfast for your birthday tomorrow," because I just knew. I I kind of figured he was gonna have shit going on at night with the family and all that stuff. So I'm like, "Dude, if I get him out, I get him out for breakfast." We'll only be out for an hour. Easy work. Right, everyone will be sleeping. Easy peasy. 5 a.m., knock on there. Manny, 
So, <laughs> so we go to Manny's, and then I get the text from my buddy Dave, and he's like, "Hey, man, let's uh, go to that gun show." And first off, tells us the wrong place. <laughs> I thought Jeff was just gonna roll up his sleeves and tells us <laughs> tells us it's one place when it's at another. So. <laughs> Jeff goes home after breakfast. I get home, and after you eat mayonnaise, about 15 minutes later, you're <laughs> getting rid of mayonnaise. Well, I told Sean, too, I, I love ham and cheese omelets, but it's a risk-reward. It's a risk-reward. I know what's going to happen to my body after I eat this. It's Over that- 20 years, I told you ham and cheese omelets were awesome, and you're like, nope. I don't eat eggs. I was scarred. You you know, you like eat something and it like scars you. So I had like regular eggs where you just dump them on. I can't do yeah. scrambled either. Right. And no, 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 not scrambled. Just the, what is it? Over easy? Is over that easy. Uh, yeah. I could do that, but I got to have it with toes. So someone gave me an over easy egg and I was like, what the <laughs> fuck is this? So I just thought that's how all eggs taste. <laughs> <laughs> It's kind of like fish. Like, I've heard some fish is good. I've had fish, and now to me, Definitely that's what me. all fish taste like. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I wouldn't well, even eat, like, shrimp or lobster. I'm like, right. no, I know what seafood shrimp, tastes lobster. like. It was like, it was that thing. I'd be like, bro, I'm not going to lie to you and tell you to eat something that's not good. You just didn't believe me. I was Both times I was shocked when we were in Mexico – and you had shrimp and lobster, like, right off the fucking boat at that place that was on the ocean. And when you had it, I was, like, shocked. And you're like, oh, yeah, it's not bad. Pretty good. And I'm like, oh, this probably was, like, the best lobster and shrimp. It was so fresh. It was so good. And it was probably even, like, actually the most, like, fishy-tasting shrimp and lobster I've ever had. Or, like, not, like, fishy. Well, because like, it was Pacific Ocean, so it's a little bit stronger in the salt. Yeah, the salt, like it was, oh. it was real strong, and uh, but it was delicious, amazing. Right. <laughs> and then the other time we were in the Dells, and it was like six a.m. We were leaving the casino, and we stopped at Denny's, and I ordered my ham and cheese omelet, you know, American cheese and hash browns, white toast, white milk, and Jeff's like, "Yeah, I'm gonna have the same thing," and I was like. What? I'm 25 years I've been telling you to try an omelet. I get it yeah, every time. You get French toast. I, ever I made had fun it. of them for French toast because I'm like, you know they dip that fucking egg before they cook but it, But I can't right? taste it. So <laughs> I get the same thing at Manny's every time. I get a two-egg Denver. I get the hash browns inside the omelet. So the cheese Ooh. mixes with the hash browns and cinnamon raisin toast. I get the same thing every time. Jeff gets his. I get home like clockwork 15 minutes later. <laughs> I'm disposing of said omelet. You guys are playing battle shits on the toilet? <sighs> yeah, basically. So anyway, we get Jeff comes, picks me up to go to the uh, next day. The gun show. The gun the show. Adventure. The next adventure. We drive out to the wrong place at first. <laughs> Thank First, they're telling us, is it by Fleet Farm? And he's like, no. No, and it's, he's like, it, it's normally by the f- f- Fleet Farm. Or Farm and, and Fleet. Like, no. Technically, it's Farm and Fleet. Farm and Whatever, fleet. bro. Yeah. <laughs> so, I thought it was the same. I used to think people were retarded. No, because there's blame. So there's, we went to Fleet Farm. I'm like, this idiot called it Fleet Farm. No, because there's, there's, <laughs> farm and fleet. there's Blaine's Farm and Fleet, and it was like Blair's Fleet Farm. Was, they were a combined company at one time, yeah. and the owners and got in a fight and right. split. Yeah. So, so anyway, we go wrong place. We we go to the wrong place at first, and we're laughing about it because we're just like we follow basically followed a Kenosha a Kenosha County cop all the way out there, <laughs> and, and it was exactly where it usually is. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> so By the fleet farm. So I pull up the. I pull up the farm and fleet. I pull up the next place. I put it in the GPS, and it's literally like a three mile drive. The opposite, you know, back back the direction we came. We, could, we at least it was close. Yeah, it wasn't like we had to drive downtown. Right, to another hour or something. So we'll just say this: 
there wasn't a lot of support for Biden and Harris in this gun show. <laughs> I literally saw a pin for your jacket that says Kamala Zakats. <laughs> yeah. So they had nice trinkets. And I was like, oh my God. I have this is my first experience. I've never been to a gun show. Ever. So this is my first experience and so I didn't know like how big, how grand it's supposed to be, but it wasn't what I expected. I was like, "This right, is you see it in movies, you think underwhelming." Like I've been There's to gun shows, guns and rail guns, and they've I've never seen it like that at all. Like you go to a gun show, it's just guns, 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 guns everywhere. There was more knives and crystals, knives, crystals, <laughs> and a dude named and a dude named the Nut Man. That had in that, that was selling nuts and candies. Oh shit! Did you guys uh, try his nuts? No, no, no. And little, little. The shirts. Oh man. Put it this way: it was a hillbilly's dream in there. There was a dude there that was uh, calling Mister Rittenhouse the savior of Kenosha. Oh my god! He literally those words came out of his mouth. And then you go. What the definition of a hero is? Put it this bar is low. Put it (laughs) put it this way. I was waiting for us to get pamphlets to the next clan meeting when we were in there. (laughs) Jesus! It was it was that sketchy at some of the tables. It was Did you guys ask to see the guns in the trunk? Or? No. Oh, no. Wait, I didn't want any part. But I, I think we, we spent too much time in there. I just wanted to get Sean's money's worth because he paid for me to get in. So I was like, all right, let's, <laughs> let's do another lap. I, I was ready to go. I, it, after the first lap and I saw the prices. Honestly, yes. After the second lap, I... I at least gave it another spin. I'm like, all right, one more spin. And then uh, it was pretty much a, a couple pity laps after that because. <laughs> <laughs> well, maybe over here they got something. They it's wanted to keep looking, and I was over it. What's funny is that uh, Sean, not not Big Bear here on the podcast, our other buddy Sean, he was looking to buy his first gun. So he's walking around, and he's seeing all these prices, you know, 600 800 and then he goes over to this table and he's like, "Damn, these guns are only two fifty, <laughs> and they're all those blue." No, they were one fifty. They were they oh, were just fifty. Was... He's like, "Oh fuck, these are my price," and they were all those fake it, it, blue guns to show off. Like it was for the laser, laser sights. sights. <laughs> the laser sights for one fifty. He's like, I can get a laser could... sight. I don't have a gun, but I can scare somebody. <laughs> Put it on his chest. It, it reminded me of the God. other guys with the wood gun. Yeah. <laughs> Put a nice varnish on there. I write them a nice letter. Thank you, letter. Oh, yeah. shit. Like Sean said, after, after uh, I was just over it. But they wanted to browse. They were really looking. and I wanted to make sure I experienced all of it. I was soaking <laughs> it in, you know, chopping it up with the, with the people and Sean, Sean a couple of times. There was one guy, the the guys that were talking about Kyle being their hero. I was Sean, trying like, to get away and not be a fucking dick. I was trying. Yeah, Sean's very polite and he'll 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 listen to their bullshit, you know, even though he doesn't believe it. He's like, Yeah, 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 you know, yada yada. I just I just slowly Jeff left me there. And, separating and, yourself from the conversation. And like when I'm talking to somebody, I like to be oh, face, you know, this. like face to face, you know. Oh, I I, I give them my eye contact. <laughs> I give them my eye contact. I get done talking, I look down and I'm literally standing right in front of Nazi memorabilia. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> like literally <laughs> fucking Nazi flag. That's fucking crazy. Fucking SS pins. Nazi pistols. I'm just like yeah, these guys got the front table in this place. Like, when you walk in, this is the table you hit. The first booth. See, oh, and, and you just, right down the there, all that shit, crystals, knives, and 
The memorabilia, that's that's up here. You guys want to go see guns, you got to go further south. You're not f- far enough south. That's where all the fucking cannons and oh, they had guns. They got Where's fucking the tanks. And, they and had... You guys didn't see any cannons and rail guns, and you guys didn't really see a gun show. They no, had... They had a, a, Honestly, do the first we ones. have a problem? They had a, a 50, couple 50 kills there that were fucking dope. They had that... They had a... 12 gauge that it was a magazine 12 gauge semi-automatic 12 gauge shotgun dude it was like that what is it like that a12 or some shit yeah it was fucking it was sick but i'm just like the fuck am i gonna do with this (laughs) shoot a bunch of shotgun shells at once you can't all i would think that's like fucking that's like Ten bucks a shot. You go through two hundred dollars <laughs> oh, in about the five price minutes. of ammo was so high. Yeah, it's it was crazy. crazy. It's the ridiculous. price of everything. I figured like it's a swap meet, so it's a gun show, so shit's gonna be cheaper. Yeah, like everything. I made the analogy, and I was like, I'm not gonna go to a garage sale and pay more than, than I retail can at the store, brand new. Right. <laughs> That's basically what it was. They were char- They were more expensive For than sure. say. What's you crazy, know, though, is, like, I actually went to Bass Pro Bass, Shop. Bass Pro Shop or something. Like, an, like, a year ago, and they were out of forty cal ammo. I was like, what? Yeah. <laughs> I, that's fucking unheard of. Two like, years what? ago, two years ago, it was a twenty two long rifle. You couldn't find anywhere. Yeah, so, like, that's probably why these places are so jacked up. I mean, I, I assume it's still probably easy. You go to fucking there now and find it or something, but... Like yeah, when I went there, they were they were out of it. I went back like a week later and ended up getting. And at that time, I was just like, "Well, fuck it, give me like five hundred of those and five hundred of these and five hundred of that." And I don't have to buy ammo for fucking ten years. Jesus Christ, bro! The apocalypse comes. I know where I'm going. <laughs> right, bro. it was. You got this. Put room, it this way. No window. <laughs> you know, they always talk about you know white privilege and all that wonderful stuff. I felt the most white guilt walking through that place. Like I felt dirty. Like, right, like I, because everyone, like, I'm white and this guy behind the counter is white, but I'm not that white. <laughs> oh, you got you guys. Oh, sit at the Frankie, same, same table and break bread. The, I was just like, oh, this is the I best guy, Jeff. The best guy. What these people don't know is Michael Jordan's eighty percent white. Scotty Pippen oh, this is ninety two percent white. This guy was going on about how Barack Obama is like ten uh, percent African, and then he's talking about yeah, Michael Jordan is eighty percent white, Scotty Pippen's ninety percent white. <laughs> this guy, like the amount. Oh my god! I learned <laughs> so many things a, today. Uh, what is that twenty one in me or, or? I'm not gonna lie. Twenty three in me. I came home after that and took a fucking shower. I felt Good. dirty. I, I can only imagine. I I would have probably been super uncomfortable. They would have been looking at me like, look at this dude. I, his tan skin. I was biting my tongue so hard that I almost I almost bled. When yeah, the, if I would have heard I, that heard guy who was talking about Michael like, Jordan what? and Scottie Pippen, I just wanted to be like, "What the fuck are you talking about?" Yeah. Right? I mean, they had to have been wasted, though, right? I no, mean, these are that no, dude this really dude was dead. This dead dude, serious. Oh this dude was God. Frankie. This dude was. He was on a I heard him earlier. Mission. I heard him earlier. What, this is what scares me because I'm not very smart, and to think that there's a lot of people that are dumber than I am. Scares the fucking shit out of me. Frankie, this guy. I can't I, even read. I overheard his first conversation. He says, I don't drink and I don't do drugs and I don't. I'm just like, maybe you should, bro, because you're <laughs> fucking nuttier than squirrel shit. It was. Uh, I couldn't believe the, the shit that was coming out of this guy's mouth. <laughs> you know, you see all this shit. You know, like we talked about before, like with the Capitol building or you see a lot of this stuff and you're like, I don't deal with these people on a daily basis. So my ignorance yeah. is like, it ain't this bad. It's but you don't then talk when you to go to something like this and God. you like see it, you're like, 
holy fuck. If you put enough of these retards together. <laughs> right. The ideas that you they come up with. got a on your hands. <laughs> I, in all honesty, I really want to wear a fucking GoPro to one of these or a hidden camera just to listen, just to have the footage to be like, this is, this is America. the extreme. This is the extreme right. It's always, so sad. It really is. Ooh, it was interesting. It, it's been a interesting sounds like birthday. you guys had a blast, but I'm, I, I don't. But you know what happened? Much. Do you know what happened? Hmm. Just like Tom Brady, Frankie came through in the fourth quarter of my birthday. <laughs> <laughs> Frankie had the ball at his own 10-yard line, and he drove all the way down to my house and scored a touchdown when he left the Lou Malnati's pizza on the hood of my car. For the win. For the win. <laughs> God damn it, guys. Well, when I, like I said, I haven't got to talk to you guys often and stuff, and with it being your birthday, I, I called you earlier when you guys were at the show, and then when you gave me a call back and you were telling me about, like, Oh man, last night, you know, I wanted to lose like so bad. And I wanted to go today. And I just didn't get a chance, this and that. And I was just sitting here, like, I was like, man, fuck it. I'm going to just go take a couple hours, go pick one up, drop one off. I mean, you deserve a lose for your birthday, bro. Thanks, bro. It was- I'm sitting, you're welcome. Happy birthday, man. I'm surprised it was, well, it was still probably hot. nice, too, getting out of the house and just taking a cruise. I mean, when did yep, just listen you know? to music and even though the, the roads were frozen, dog wouldn't shit. go down. Yeah, you brave the elements too. God damn it, you are the Tom Brady of friends. <laughs> Juan Brady, baby. Your hair looks like Tom Brady from like five years ago, when he was oh. crying on that show. Locks are flowing. <laughs> Remember when he was crying doing that interview and he had that long hair. <laughs> <laughs> He kept brushing his hair back behind his ear. <laughs> <laughs> no, it, it is pretty uncontrollable. Like, like we were talking about, like when I put a shirt on and shit, you got to fucking pull it out from getting tucked into your shirt. It's it's pretty. It's getting pretty long. Actually, so, right now it's been one year that I haven't cut my hair. Holy shit! I haven't. Cut I mean, a the little back. bit on the sides. I shaved. Like yeah, my, I was like gonna say my sideburns, but because I, I just couldn't the take top. that going in my ear. I shaved the top of my head. The back I haven't shaved in a long time. Skull it, bro. Look good though. Next I up, feel is, good, uh, bro. I feel old. My perm. It's got to find someone that can do them. People don't know what they are anymore. Bro, Sean and I, we didn't even, well, we kind of did a podcast last week, but <laughs> for reasons unknown or <laughs> undisclosed that won't be uh, <laughs> put on the internet, oh. maybe it'll be like a Patreon event where you got to pay like $20 to hear the bullshit that was coming out of my <laughs> mouth last week. Oh, I feel rough. like I want to hear it. <laughs> You're gonna have to send it to me just so I can hear. I haven't got to even listen to any of the last like. And it wasn't or so. nothing bad. It was just. It was. It was. I don't know, man. Very it self-deprecating. Was myself, it was self-deprecating. Yeah, maybe I needed it at that moment, but John's like, "Should I put this up?" And I was like, "No, yeah, I no." It. I said, "Listen to it first, and you decide if we're putting it up," because I couldn't. Like I felt that bad after we got done, you know, we stopped the recording and I just go to him. I go, bro, that was rough. I just go, bro, that you probably was felt better. You probably felt better about yourself. Oh, hundred like, percent. Fuck, <laughs> Jeff's fucked up too. <sighs> like, yeah, everyone's got problems. Everyone's got Dude, shit right. going on in their life. Just the schedule was the part that just had me fucking rolling. Oh, Jesus Christ. Explaining uh, the schedule, which, like I said, it's so unfortunate. I, I really do want a copy of this. Side. I'm gonna have to listen to the last few weeks. I haven't been able to listen to like really. Yeah, uh, we were just like, well, one of the big things was uh, obviously, you know, we sold our place. And we're looking for a new house, so we're living with my mom at the moment, and we're all just crammed in this fucking area, and we have three young kids. 
energetic. So having kids. having sex is like <laughs> in the fucking possible. I mean, it it really is. It's next to fucking impossible. And uh, you guys got to do the little little swip. Oh, mommy's in the shower. The daddy's gonna hop in. Mommy's getting out. Yeah, you no, can't go sorry. in that sh- I, dude, that I'm, shower. I'm, cause you can't put two people in that shower in his bathroom. What are you? No, out I'm of not your mind? saying in the shower. <laughs> you know, Jeff only needs thirty seconds. He's fucking good. Yeah, see, that's what we. Yeah, all right, about too. We, we we're gonna cut it there on that one. We can't we can't <laughs> we can't keep burying Jeff on these. Yeah, podcasts. we're gonna go back into it. Oh Jesus Christ! So, but no, it's just it, it was talking about kind of it was just about like sexual frustration and you know we can't just I'm very spontaneous. Like I just you know you you just get you know she bends down to to you know wipe the table and stare down her shirt and I'm ready to go and it's like you just can't right. the heat rises, kids running just... around. so I was just joking with her about how she has me on a sex schedule it's got to be at like 10 30 you know everyone's asleep the lights are off but yeah it but it went it went way to it, Sean said they're just super quiet like I was I do I really I really <laughs> wish I was like John just had his arms like this, like, oh. I felt, I honestly felt like it was a fucking therapy <laughs> session for Jeff and Kayla. And I was the third wheel therapist there. I appreciate you listening, Sean. Hey, it, like I and said. not putting that podcast out to the world. Like, like I said. Oh, I, that, fucking funny. Like that one, if you want, if you want that one, send us $100. How about <laughs> Super Bowl? How about that Super Bowl? <laughs> I won a little bit of money, and then, like an idiot, I lost a bunch of money on golf. <laughs> you gambled on golf? I don't know what the fuck. I, I was up. I was winning. Like I threw like five hundred bucks out there, and I tripled it. You don't even it, watch golf. How are you betting on it? I don't. I just went to live bets, and I just was like taking the favorites on everything and parlaying it, and I took. On the Super Bowl, I put 500. I was betting on Gronk to score first. Casino sees a guy like you. They just start licking their chops. Well, I'm over. This guy's such a degenerate. He's going to bet on shit he don't even watch. I put a total of 750 online now, and I've bet over $15,000. So I've turned basically 750 bucks into 15 grand. Now, I haven't taken. Took took and taken fifteen thousand off the site, <laughs> so obviously I gambled a lot of that continuously and lost it. But I have, it's definitely paid my bills for like the last four months. I've had, so I really haven't struck, had to worry about. What struck on the Super Bowl? You got the Gronk first touchdown, Gronk on the first touchdown and the second touchdown, which was like eight hundred to one, and then uh, the second time eight hundred. Like yeah, it was eight hundred oh, to one. No, it's it was plus eight hundred. Plus, yeah, plus eight hundred. My bad. Sorry. I was gonna say yeah. So eight hundred to one, you would have been able to pay. Been, 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 been able to yeah. pay your fucking bills for the rest of your life. <laughs> yeah, I and bought a I house on that again. touchdown. I did lose five hundred straight on because I thought that he was gonna get another touchdown, and like halfway through it, after getting two touchdowns back to back, which what idiot bets on. Uh, a player to win the MVP other than a quarterback. So dude, I bet time. Dude. But if you want to actually make money, you kind of have to. I, in the, if you want to make any five, big geez. money. In the Super Bowl, it's not usually a quarterback winning. It. It's usually like a fucking defensive back that wins it. I thought it was going to be Gronk. Yeah, if he has a touchdown. Game. Yeah, normally it's quarterback. I mean, fucking Nick Foles won the goddamn thing. He caught a right. touchdown pass, bro. I can't even see the field. <laughs> there was a couple of years ago. I remember when uh, I was surprised. Was it Julian Edelman got it? But he got Julian some Edelman. Catches. Yeah, he had twelve. He had comeback. fucking like twelve catches for one hundred and sixty-three yards and a touchdown or two touchdowns. Yeah, see, how shocked had the you about I was that like, game? I could not believe I how know, Sean. Sean asked me. I don't think we talked about it on the podcast, but I remember you asking me, and I was like. I love Mahomes, I really do. But my answer to you was, I will never bet against, against Tom Brady, Brady ever. Like it's, said, that's a not good bet. Happen. My were plus one sixty three or something, so I put a hundred on that too and one. I like I said, I said, 
my heart says the Bucks, but my brain says the Chiefs. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Because it's just leading up to it, all the injuries. I mean, the, the, that's the where two I, tackles out for KC and the broken toe to Mahomes. Did you hear the stat? Planner fashion. About Mahomes? Did you hear the stat? How oh, many yeah. yards he ran for before he either? Like either. 60. 497 yards he ran before That's he either crazy. threw the ball or he got sacked. And what was like Tom Brady's? I've seen his. Like, like 35. 35. <laughs> so oh. what made the biggest difference for Tampa Bay to me was Vita Vea coming back. Yeah. And demanding, oh, yeah, commanding dude. a double team every fucking time he was on the field. Him and Donald Dude, they didn't even the blitz, middle. dude. That front four was just. Patrick Mahomes was just. You know what? Honestly, I think though, that Andy Reid, that coaching staff, did him no favors. If you're getting pressured like that and you're still seven step dropping. Like, there was no screens, there was no handoffs, there was no Nothing short was open. Everything was You know why, though? They got a linebacker go that could play sideline to sideline and white. Yeah, white. And, well, and Levante David. And Levante yeah, but David. Dude, the Chiefs, like the the Chiefs turned into coverage. the fucking... Chiefs turns in, turned into the Bears a little bit. They turned into, the, mean, into the Bears from the uh, 05 dude, season. Back, he's a rookie, right? Number 25? Yeah, but, Clary, yeah, but they yeah. have... Dude, they, he was gouging them up, and then they... And then they wouldn't run the ball for like it, it they, seemed like forever. The O five Bears did a Super Bowl run, and then they never ran the ball again. It's the O like, five Bears fuck? Super Bowl. We score on the opening kickoff. We're running the ball down their throat the whole first half of the game. Then they shut the run down the second half. The Bears did not run the ball at all the second half, and they put it in yeah. Grossman's hands to win that fucking game. I mean, I, I get it. Mahomes is so great, but if you were to put him on the Bears and with the line and shit like that, that's probably the numbers he would have. I mean, like, if you put... Well, someone if, actually commented like that. They're like, now you know what Mahomes would look like on the Bears. <laughs> right. Yeah, it's true. Dude, did you see it's that so fucking bad. throw he had like, I, I, when he was, I, like, the Superman? Team, but, like, I mean, that Super Bowl, like I said, it was it was good. It was interesting. It was fun to watch. He was, like, I was Maverick for from Top Gun. He was fucking... Inverted. Yeah, the Superman <laughs> throw. Thirty yard blazer. I don't know how he throws that, and then he hits him with the face mask. And he doesn't catch it. <laughs> like, bro, oh. did you just see what I had to do to throw this fucking ball to you, and it hits you in the face? See, I got a hundred dollars back because I think it was thirty five plus thirty five hundred for Robinson to score their first touchdown. Which is like their third receiver or whatever. The one they got and hit in the face. Yeah. Um, and I put another hundred on Pringle because he was like four, plus forty five hundred. And I was thinking like, well, fuck, one of them I gonna hit, and I ended up getting both of those hundred dollar bets back because they didn't score a touchdown the whole fucking game. I wonder what the uh, what it was if for the uh, Chiefs not to score a touchdown. Oh, my God, dude. That had to have been crazy. So, like, when I was, like, seeing that 4,500, I was like, oh, they can get a I think it was the guys. same as Mike Tyson getting beat not by Buster one. Douglas. <laughs> <laughs> I think it was the same odds. So, it was, like, 60 to 1 or something. <laughs> the streaker. The streaker that happened at the Super Bowl. I heard about yeah, that. I, I heard that fake, though. No, he didn't win the money. No, it's not. It, he did. <laughs> it's it's. Did he for real? Because yeah. yeah, everyone's like it's fake, fake news. Right, like, like a lot of places, you got to find a certain place that'll bet that. There's you have to like, and you can't and, and prop and bets like that. You can only like the uh, national anthem length. You can only bet a certain amount. Well, you can't so bet like ten thousand dollars. No, that's it's, it's. There's different places that do stupid prop bets like that. But the national right. anthem, the national anthem bet actually got changed because because the dude because a guy leaked it. Up, yeah, <laughs> the, the day before, so it was like kind of fucked. I was looking to bet that shit. So I actually, I, I actually over. really, I really like that anthem. Not gonna lie. Yeah, it was good. Yeah, I was like Eric Church. I didn't even know who the lady was. I was like, oh, this is going to be 
but it's actually <laughs> I I dug it. Yeah, the 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 meme of the night though with the fucking the weekend running through that thing where it's like the big the, the meme going out. The Bears <laughs> looking for their next quarterback, and he's fucking going. I was dying. Honestly, like everyone is, I I really do. I like the week a lot. Yeah. And everyone was like bashing his performance, and when it first uh, happened, yeah, the audio, I, the audio was kind of fucked up. Yeah. And uh, didn't seem to match like, up. Yeah, this either. is kind of, uh, kind of underwhelming. Probably my favorite part was the ending. Because normally they do it in the the middle of the field and it's like this bullshit stage and it's like they got all these fake fans in there jumping around. Like the ending was dope where it was just him with like all those backup dancers on the field and that was it. No fans, no nothing. That part to me was fucking awesome. And I like the But I think I liked it better the second time. I watched it I watched it again. Because normally you'll watch something once, you'll have an opinion, and then you just, that's my opinion. And I was like, I heard all these people bashing it, and I was like, let me watch it again. And I actually liked it better the second time I watched it. Yeah, it definitely wasn't one of the best, but, like, it was it was good, I still thought. Like, I, I like The Weeknd, like you said. Like, he's got good stuff, so. How about Padman? He's Man? not one of these, like, black-eyed peas, like, well, he's, he's, a good he's, performer, he's he's also, but he's he's also not, like, British over the too. top. The Bruno you know? Mars one I really liked a couple years back. Yeah, but uh, he's more of like an entertainer, like got backup dancers, and you know he puts on more of a show. The weekend's kind of just up there by himself singing. I mean, yeah, I mean like, he had the music. like the orchestra and all that shit. It was just, it's just a different vibe, different atmosphere. Different I'll still group. take last year, Shakira and J-Lo. So, <laughs> Frankie. I'll go fuck their lip sync, and I'll watch J-Lo spin around the pole all night long. <laughs> At least you didn't have as bad as a beat as Pat McAfee did. 30 grand. What? Put 30 Ooh. grand on tails. <laughs> <laughs> I was actually looking at that. I, was, I honestly said the same thing in my head. Tails never fails. And I was put, like, but fuck, I would have lost that. He also put, I think he put 60 grand on there wouldn't be a touchback on the the opening kickoff. Ooh. And there wasn't. Yeah, they brought it out right away. I, I was looking at that, too. There was so many different prop bets I wanted to do. I did probably, like, a bunch of them for, like, $10 and stuff. I didn't win on, like, any of them that were, like, stupid stuff like that. Um, well, that's what's cool about... Um, the prop bets and stuff. So even if you do have a Super Bowl like you had, that's not very exciting or entertaining. I mean, don't get me wrong. I mean, the Bucks defense was awesome, and it's Brady and Mahomes, Winfield Jr. But when it's so one sided like that, and there's you don't really have any interest, it's nice to have those those bets in place to yeah. keep the game entertaining oh, yeah, I was the whole time. Right, exactly. So you're locked in because you got all these bets and. Oh, Especially, like I said, when on. I threw 500 on Gronk to win the MVP, I was like, get another fucking touchdown. Come Come on. On. I went up the middle, and he was almost gone, and he got, like, shoelaced. I was you know like, it's oh, going to Brady, that though. Been huge. Yeah, I knew it. Different team, all that. But that wouldn't pay no fucking <laughs> Someone money, posted you know a, me- or a meme or something like that, and it's like, did Tom Brady just really ask a random team who wants to go to the Super Bowl? <laughs> <laughs> Well, he went to somewhere that had all the weapons and like. Well, think about fact, it like, though. If if the Bucks still had Jameis Winston, are they in the Super Bowl? No. 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 Tommy. Touchdown, Tommy. Yeah, he played it well, and it wasn't even that he did. I mean, he played great game, but he didn't do anything that was like extravagant. He didn't have to. Honestly, he, he really did amazing. The defense. And, the whole defense and the coordinator, Todd Bowles, should have got the MVP. I agree. For real. Like, like Winfield bracketing fucking uh, Ty- Tyree Kill the whole game. Uh, Devin White taking away um, Travis Kelsey. That Kelsey. was the whole team. that they, they doubled both of them, and they said beat us with someone else, and they couldn't. Kansas City was and so flat, too. Holy so shit. So flat, dude. The, no, we're missing both their tackles, though. And literally, Patrick Bones running for his life. It was 
it was a crazy game. But like I said, man, it's fun to bet on that stuff. Like I, I put five hundred hours on a bunch of different crazy bets. I probably had like twenty five bets out there. But hitting on those Gronk ones, that was like fifteen hundred. Tripled my money right there. I won a hundred or two hundred and like sixty seven dollars for the taking the bucks on the money line, and. Because, you know, I always just go with the underdog. And like you said, it's hard to bet against Tom Brady. And then... Can't. Yeah, never. I, I bet stupid shit, though. Um, <laughs> after that, just... I was, like, kind of just on it. I was like, oh, yeah, just fucking football's over. Just tripled my money on, like, one of the last you have any, of the year. Do you have any bets going, Sean? I know you're a fucking degenerate. No. <laughs> my, all my gambling is in the stock market right now. Oh, shit. Oh, I made three, yeah, I, I made three hundred bucks into sixteen hundred. Nice. So, so, yeah, I never really got into that. Like, I was talking to uh, one of my dad's buddies, and he's huge into it. But like, he does like huge stock trade, and he's like, and I was like, well, I'd like to do that, and he's like, well, you need ten grand to get in, and I was like, I'm yeah. fucking not dropping ten grand to start. <laughs> like, that's like I'll throw maybe a thousand down or something, and and buy a few small stock things here and there but so i get in what he was doing he's like it's a 10 grand like to start minimum and blah blah but like he's up i'm pretty sure he's up to like 100 grand in just this last year and like it was like all small stuff too like you know obviously the market's been jumping back and forth crazy he sees it go down like 150 something points he's like buying in uh, three Jesus. days it's up so you know what i mean 200 so he's like Pfft. I just made a ton of money right there. I got lucky on one stock. I bought 32 shares in this uh, company called Marathon uh, Patent Group. At like, Don't give away your secrets. Well, dude, no, one, <laughs> no one's going to buy them now. This I bought, is insider trading. I bought them. I think that I think I got them for like a, one or two dollars a share, and they're up to like thirty five dollars a share because of Bitcoin jumping up as high as it has. And then, yeah, uh, yeah, didn't, uh, what's his name? Just put like thirty Elon, million into that. Elon just put a billion into it. Jesus, I bet the fu- if you would have bought that Bitcoin fucking before he did, Bitcoin probably just went up so much. No, it went up ten grand when he did that. Ten grand, that's a lot. But I, when I first started trading, Bitcoin was at like two thousand dollars. That's what I'm saying. Like, can you imagine if you put ten grand into Bitcoin and then it was only yeah. two grand a share? And yeah, now it goes to I 10 wouldn't grand be working anymore. <laughs> Fuck, man. Well, here you want to hear a good story. Drinking Miller Light and doing a podcast twenty four seven. So you want to hear a good story? There's a there's two stories I got for you with the Bitcoin thing. There's a guy out there who lost his password to his account and can't get it back. I heard that he's like, he's got, he's got fuck it. Yeah. He's, he's got, you get like 11 attempts and he's done 10 trying to remember his password and he's got fucking like $270 million. Can't you do the thing where he forgot your password, email it? No, you can't because someone's crazy dude. And then (sighs) another story is when Bitcoin first came out, a guy gave, 32 Bitcoin to a guy for two pizzas from Pizza Hut. So he, those, pizza, those pizzas now? cost him like $300 million. <laughs> <laughs> Can you imagine that being that? Like, What's crazy is the rest of your life you're going to be haunted that you paid fucking $32 million for two pizzas. There was a movie on Netflix... Where they were selling There's a lot of movies on Netflix. No, it, it, <laughs> it was it was it was a Netflix movie. I'm trying to think of the name. Original. Of it. Yeah, dope. The movie dope. Did you watch that? No. Where I'm it's not. the kids all dress like they're in the '90s. The main characters. Must not have been that dope. No, it's it's <laughs> actually really good. But they were selling drugs with Bitcoin. And that's the first time I heard about Bitcoin, and they're you know they were getting it was like a hundred dollars here, hundred dollars there worth of Bitcoin. Yeah. Now those guys, if that was a true story, it would be fucking billionaires. Yeah. <laughs> Who made that, that movie? Too. Wasn't it like Jonah Hill or who made that? No, Jonah Hill made uh, mid nineties. 
Oh, okay, that's what I'm thinking of. Yeah, it's sorry. A, yeah. But yeah, I've watched some good movies on there on the top ten as of late. Browsing the top ten. I just watched the. I got one episode left in season three, but the for the three seasons of the center, that was a fucking crazy. Netflix show. is killing Amazing. it, man. They got. I don't have enough fucking time in the day between fucking HBO and Disney There's Plus. So much you want to watch. I, yeah, I just so much. So little time. I gotta it tell you about this back story. Then, wasn't that a lot of good shit? You know what I mean. Now there's oh, I know. Now you're just flooded with. Shit. I don't have enough time. Yeah, I don't have enough time. Let's hear the story. I'm 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 down for a good. Oh story. no, it has nothing to do with anything. I don't want to interrupt the flow. It was just an observation I made of this fucking asshole at the drive-through. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's it's a perfect story to end the podcast on. I mean. We're almost well, I got hour. two stories that end the podcast. This isn't. This, this isn't the one to end it. You can do whatever the fuck you want. I'm taking over, you fucks. Get ready. <laughs> Buckle up. I go to the McDonald's <laughs> drive-through. I one of the one of the twins you know, want, wants a root beer. Okay, I don't know if they have root beer, but I'm gonna ask as a good parent. I'll take this, this, and this, and this, and I will have a, a large Coke and a large root beer. We don't have root beer. Didn't end it there. We've never had root beer. <laughs> oh. I was like, okay. <laughs> right, like, fuck. Just to say, we don't, I'm sorry, sir. We don't have root beer. But to go, I mean, he was very aggressive. We don't have root beer. We you have should have replied. Ever. You know other establishments yeah. have beer. root beer, motherfucker. <laughs> it was they, just like, why? I was just thinking food. to myself, like, why did he say it like that? $15 I an hour. Never, Remember. Never say anything. <laughs> Remember. I would the, never say that to anybody. These are the people that want $15 an hour. Yeah. yeah well, it's going to be automated. To be, I'm going to go and, in there. Bunch of fucking thing. There's gonna be. It's gonna be like when I go to Walmart, everywhere. and there's fucking thirty two lanes, and two of them are open, and the rest of them are self checkout. That's what's gonna happen How to fast food. Is that? There's gonna be two guys in the back heating up those patties in the microwave. <laughs> <laughs> tweedle D and Tweedle Top. Just, just check up and check. Just go, 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 go. And then eventually, there's gonna be fucking. Elon Musk is going to have robots back there. He's going to have robots in the back there heating up my fucking McMuffin. It'll probably go to something where they'll put it all in a bag. You put a bag on a tray and a tray will just fucking roll out to your window and you just come out on a drone. Right. Some fucking drone drops on your sunroof. that's, That's what I'm saying, though. There's fucking people that are... We've never had root beer. For what, the fucking 10 years you've been working here, faggot? Couldn't I just ask for a root beer? Whoa, like, can easy. I, get root beer? I know you haven't been on in a while, <laughs> bud, but watch the... I can call someone a bundle of sticks. I watch, can get aggressive, too. Watch, when talking yeah. about some root beer. You just went fucking full Lance. <laughs> easy. From fucking Fast and Furious. Easy. <laughs> Little police. Like, hey, bro, people are fucking beat off sometimes. Maybe this guy's worked there for six months. We've never had it. Well, how do you know he didn't have it fucking two years ago? But if someone, okay, ask me for a root beer. Sorry, sir, we don't have that. Sorry, sir, we don't right. have root beer. Right. Can I get you something else? And I hate, I can't stand when I go to a place and they're like, we have Coke products. Well, I don't know what the fuck Coke products are. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they have like. I know some of them. Things. I know that they don't have Mountain Dew. Mellow I Yellow. Love Mountain Dew, and they don't have Mountain Dew. Mellow Yellow. Because that's a Pepsi product. Well, Mellow they Yellow. do Powerade. They have Sprite. Coke product. Be like, I have a fucking blue Powerade. <laughs> we don't have that. Well, you just said you had fucking Coke products. I can't you stand when they blue. say that. We only have Coke products. Well. 
How about a list of the Coke products, if you wouldn't mind? Well, you know there is a list on the menu, right? <laughs> no, they got this digital menu that keeps changing. I'm like, what? Oh, now we got to wait for it to come back <laughs> so around. So it's going to oh, be. Oh, shit, there it is. For, for here, oh, here, oh, here's, a little, it. here's a little thing for you, Jeff, so you know what the Coke products usually are. Coke, Diet Coke, Sprite, right. Mellow Yellow, I Dr. See. Pepper, and High C. Okay. High C fruit punch is where it's at. But they got blue and red freezies. Are those Coke products as well? Yeah, what about yeah, that Shamrock Shake? That's see, <laughs> that's a different. That's not a soft drink. That is a shake. There is a difference. Don't be don't be fucking some condescending little prick like this. <laughs> oh, I'm just telling you the, the logic. Those are a lot. Of just, you know what? Coffee? After after yeah, what man. I had to go through today at the fucking gun show with all these <laughs> fucking jabronis, just please, for the love of God, just try and be kind to each other. I cannot person. thank everybody enough who came on my Facebook or, to, or texted me <laughs> and wished me a happy birthday. Thank you all so much. Just don't be an asshole. It's not that right? hard. Sean. Hey, fuck you, guy. <laughs> People don't realize, though, there's a, there's a thing. I get it that you work at McDonald's and you are the order taker or you are the burger maker, whatever you want to say. But all in all, these are customer service. Frankie, I get it. You, you've been locked assholes. in your house too long. <laughs> the, the world I, has I, changed. I never, in my the business, outside world I hear has people changed. People screaming at me, telling me to fuck off and shut the fuck up, and I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about. And I will still be like, absolutely, sir. I'm just trying to go ahead and make sure that your situation it accommodates you and that you're you're happy with your service today. If there's anything else <laughs> I can do, please just let me know. And a lot of what times was, that pisses them off even more. What was but, crazy is I thought that it, I felt the way he answered it. Is I asked him for something so out there. You asked him like for a cup for full of. Life. You asked him for, for a cup cheese. full of mule jizz. I asked for <laughs> yeah. I, I I went up to McDonald's and I was like, "Can I have mac and cheese?" And he's like, "We don't have mac and cheese. We've never had mac and cheese." <laughs> that I can understand. Right. Or if you're like, "Is I not a root beer? Can I get a beer like a Bud Light?" Yeah. Sir, we've never served alcohol. This is McDonald's. You're going through the drive-thru? Bunch of well, you, know, you guys would make a killing if you did. Look at bear. <laughs> All oh. right, you guys want to end on a funny note here? Yeah, let's go. All right. So Tell me you guys know note. what my favorite cake in the world is, right? Better than sex cake. I do. Better than sex cake. So my sister, God bless her soul, made me an amazing better than sex cake. We did the candles, we sang the songs, we cut the cake. Beautiful. Everything went swimmingly. We asked the kids, you want some of this cake? They're like, what kind of cake is it? Oh. My girlfriend said, better than video game cake. <laughs> no way. That's better good. than video game cake. That's, That's good pull. Great. That's hilarious. That's good pull. <laughs> Do they do they eat it? Is that what they're calling it? Well, my mom not only threw up in my car, so I didn't get Lou Malnati's. She, my mom, cut the cake, put a fork under there to get the first slice, and I held out my plate for her to put it on mine, and she dumped it on her plate. <laughs> you didn't even get the first piece. <laughs> and walked away. No, my mom did. <laughs> Oh, that's wow. all. Wow. She should have had the shades on baller status. What a fucking yeah, savage. You know, those, you know those thug life shades? That yeah. Yep. <laughs> what a fucking savage. Oh, uh, she <sighs> took one look at that cake. She picked her piece out, and I was like, all excited. My mom's going to serve me my first slice. It's my birthday. Nope. She nope. gave you the fuck you, Heisman. Hey, she went. <laughs> I was dying. My mom told me that our moms were talking last week or whatever. And your mom was like, oh, my God. Jeff's going to have his birthday. He's going to be fucking 37. Oh, my God. He's getting old. 
She's like, we're getting old. My mom's like, no, we're just old. We're not getting old. <laughs> we're already <laughs> there. We're already we're old. old. <laughs> Fucking dying. Oh, shit. Well, at least you got your better than sex cake. You got your Manny's breakfast. You got your Lou Malnati's. I got everything. Sounds like a pretty damn good birthday to me. The only thing missing. It was great. Is a mouth hug, and I ain't giving it to him. Frankie, you're up. Not it. Not it. <laughs> I already caught it. You gotta say wake, not it. It's I'm gonna not go wake Kale up right. There you go. You, Spontaneous you, sex. You gotta go tap her on the forehead. <laughs> it's birthday sex, man. Come on. All right. You know what she's gonna tell me it's not your birthday anymore. Yeah. About three fifteen. <laughs> happy va- Sunday. Happy Valentine's Day. Happy That's Valentine's my- Day, honey. <laughs> That's my there day. You go. That's my day. You go to work. <laughs> Shit. Jeff's going to be up for another hour. <laughs> Doing what? My exercise. <laughs> Fake DJ. Fake chow. <laughs> Doing tongue push-ups. Fake chow. <laughs> <laughs> All right. It's for- National Fake Chow Day tomorrow. <laughs> Today. <laughs> for that. Say goodbye to everyone. <laughs> for that being said. For Jeff, for Frankie, <laughs> I am Sean. Thank you once again yes, you are. for you listening to The Gentleman's Den. We appreciate every single one of you. And don't forget, as always, dicks out for Harambe. And <laughs> Epstein didn't kill himself. <laughs> and fuck it. Shop.spreadshirt.com backslash the hyphen gentleman's hyphen den. For all your Gentleman's Den merch needs, go buy a t-shirt. We're going to have some more merch up there soon. Frankie's been working on it because he's got nothing else better to do. He's got, time, 50, baby. He's got 57 t-shirts got getting ready to drop. We're going to have Frankie, Frankie's... Tape coming soon. We're going to have Frankie's spring line coming soon. It's going to be all of Frankie's... Out, it's going to be all of Frankie's key, key quotes. <laughs> <laughs> Like, want to touch it? And where did I put that lighter? And <laughs> coincidence. 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 Just imagine. Just imagine. Just imagine. Yeah. A- amongst all other ones, once again, that is shop.spreadshirt.com backslash the hyphen gentleman's hyphen den. And go buy a t shirt. Go buy a coffee mug. Stay buy, warm. Get a hoodie. Get, it's cold out there. Buy a couple hoodies, like six, maybe seven. <laughs> It, so, it once again, Double them up like your mask, you dirty bastards. <laughs> Thank you once again for listening. We will be Two back. Hoodies. We will be back next week. <laughs> Frankie may be here. Frankie may not. It's a special. It's like a special gift every time he comes in, like a <laughs> like a better than sex cake when your mom takes the first piece. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Thank you very much for listening, y'all. We will see you next week. Thank you. I love you.